Hello, my name is Madeline Bannon. I am a senior at Joe Reddington High School in Wasilla, Alaska, and I will be reading my K through three children's book called The Little Witch, written and illustrated by me. The Little Witch. One day, the little witch was walking through the forest when she came upon a tree the tallest tree in the forest. The tree said to her, hello, little witch, are you on a journey? The little witch nodded and said, I'm looking for trinkets to bring home. So the tallest tree extended a branch and allowed her to pluck the prettiest leaf she could find. The little witch said, thank you, Mr. Tree. And all the tree said was, just remember to not be greedy and he sent her on her way. The little witch continued on her journey. Before long, she found a patch of wildflowers, the most vibrant shade of violet. When she went to pluck one from the ground, a fox jumped out and said, would you like one of my flowers? The little witch nodded and plucked one from the ground. The little witch said, thank you, Miss Fox. And all the fox said was, take it, but never be greedy with it. And she sent the little witch on her way. As the little witch continued on her journey, she found herself tired and hungry. She found a bush full of yummy red berries, and once she was full, she drifted into slumber on a bed of grass. When the little witch awoke, she was greeted by a great horned owl. Who, who are you? asked the owl. I am Aurora, the little witch of the woods, she replied. Why are you in my nest? the owl asked. I'm sorry, Mr. Owl, said the little witch. I was very tired. Why, that's all right, said the owl. And as she turned around, the owl decided to join the little witch on her journey. As the little witch continued walking, she and the owl collected rocks, picked flowers, and collected mushrooms. Somewhere along the way, they bumped into a small hedgehog who asked for one of the flowers. She said no. When the owl warned her not to be greedy, she ran the rest of the way to her grandmother's house. Her grandmother met her outside, and when the little witch explained what happened, her grandmother said to her, a little witch's life does not consist in the abundance of her possessions. Sometimes in life you must give to those less fortunate, and when you do, you'll love the way giving feels. And the little witch knew what she had to do. The little witch went back to the hedgehog and the owl and allowed the hedgehog to take whatever he wanted. Thank you, little witch, said the hedgehog, and the little witch's heart filled with joy. A little witch's life does not consist in the abundance of her possessions, she said with a smile. Now let's take a look at what we collected. A barrowrite crystal, an amethyst crystal, a fluorite crystal, a pine branch, a wild blue pine flower, bluebells of Scotland, Amnita muscaria, and a forget-me-not. Amnita muscaria is in the fungi kingdom. They are also called toadstools. You can find them in Alaska, and near pine trees. Bluebells of Scotland are a native wildflower to Scotland and Alaska, and they only bloom in the summer. A pine branch is from a pine tree. You can find them all over Alaska. A forget-me-not is the Alaska state flower. Wild blue pine grows on the Aleutian Islands as well as other parts of Alaska. A barrowrite crystal is white to pink in color and flat in shape and can be found in Alaska. And an amethyst crystal can be found in the north and in Toke, Alaska. Fluorite crystals can be found on Alaska's Kuiu Islands. Once the little witch realized how good sharing felt, she wanted to share with all her forest friends. She gave the great horned owl a toadstool. She gave the fox a bluebell and the hedgehog and the tallest tree got lupine flowers. And when the day was all done, the little witch and her grandmother went back home in triumph and pride from the day's success. The end. Where did it go? Thank you.